Hello everyone, my name is Yuen Saem. Nice to see you again. I'm really happy to come here in order to teach you another grammar lesson. I have many grammar lessons for you guys. So please watch my video every day because uh, a new video comes out per, per day. Our lesson is about sentences and you already learned simple sentences which consist of four declarative sentences, imperative sentences, uh, interrogative sentences and exclamatory sentences. And one more about compound sentences. Compound sentences, we have three ways to join the clauses. One is compound sentences with coordinator or friend boys. Number two is compound sentences with conjunctive adverbs. And number three is compound sentences with semicolons. You already know that there are four types of sentences. So you finish simple sentences, compound sentences, and in today's video, you are going to learn complex sentences. Let's get started. Sentences, complex sentences. The definition of complex sentences is a complex sentence is the sentence which consists of one independent clause and one or more dependent clauses. Talking about complex sentences, we always think of three types of clauses. What are they? You know them? Noun clauses, adjective clauses, and adverb clauses. These three types of clauses have already been taught to you. If you really want to be clear about these three types of sentences, let's go back to my previous videos. Everything is in detail in those videos. Okay. This video is just a brief explanation only. Everything is not really in detail. But my previous video covered everything. So, when talking about complex sentences, only one independent clause and one or more dependent clauses. So, it is complex sentences. Those three clauses are uh, A, noun clauses. Uh, let me tell you some about noun clauses. How many types of noun clauses are there? Well, you remember that there are three types of noun clauses. Okay, one is that claw, uh, number two is yeah, WH word clauses or WH clauses, number three is it or where the clauses. Okay, how about adjective clauses? You remember, so how many types of adjective clauses are there? Two types of adjective clauses defining relative clauses no comma and non-defining relative clauses with comma. How about adverb clauses? We just finished our adverb clauses. I remember that only nine adverb clauses were taught to you. And two more adverb clauses you know, were not taught at that time. So please watch my previous video. Everything's there. Okay, look at the example of uh, a clause. Noun clause. Sam always tell me that I am his good student. So he is that clause. You already know that nouns have several functions. Noun can be subject, can be object, direct object, predicate noun or predicate nominative or subject complement, uh, object or preposition, or a positive, etc. How about that clause in here? That clause here is direct of object because tell somebody something. So something here is direct of object. So it is noun clause direct of object, that clause. Number two, I'm not sure of what you mean. So, what you mean here is noun, noun clause, noun clause, object of preposition, preposition of. 
Example number three of noun clauses. Whether or not you come to my party cannot make everyone happy. So from whether to party is noun clause, but this noun clause function as the subject of verb. How about adjective clause? Adjective clauses consist of two. One is defining and non-defining relative clause. Sam is the teacher who we like the most. Who we like the most is adjective clause modify the te the teachers. It is defining relative clause because no cam comma is used in here. Number two of adjective clauses. John, whose father is a businessman, is from the USA. From who to a businessman is adjective clause modify John. It is non defining relative clause because comma is used in this adjective clause. John is proper, proper noun. How about adverb clauses? I already told you about nine adverb clauses have been taught to you. This one only two examples and we have more than that. Again, please back to my previous videos about adverb clauses. Number one, if you come to Cambodia, I'll have a big party for you. So, talking about this, it is adverb clause or condition. Conditional, yeah. So, it is DC and from R to U is IC. I always try to learn English so that I can get a good job. So that I can get a good job. Well, it is the adverb clause. So it is adverb clause of her purpose. Uh, so that is a subordinator. Okay. And we have more. Like, no nine adverb clause. Like, uh, we have adverb clause of time, adverb clause of place, adverb clause of purpose, adverb clause of reason, adverb clause of result, adverb clause of concession, contract clauses, adverb clause of manner, and adverb clause of conditions. But more adverb clauses, you can do more research, you're gonna see what they are, okay? Again, complex sentences. A complex sentence is the sentence which consists of one independent clause and one or more dependent clauses. So remember that talking about complex sentences, you think of one IC and one or more DCs. When seeing the complex sentences, you have to think of three clauses. One is noun clauses, which consists of three clauses. One is dead clauses, number two is WH word clauses, and number three is if away the clauses. Adjective clause, we have to think of two. One is defining relative clauses, refer to a clause which has no comma. Uh, the other is non-defining relative clauses refer to the clause which need a comma here and adverb clauses we have nine taught to you already but this one only two one adverb clause or condition and the other is uh, adverb clause or purpose well does it make sense everyone after my explanation here this lesson is just a, a brief explanation if you want to get more detailed information Let's go back to my previous video. Everything is really clear. Uh, if you have any questions about complex sentences, please write your question. I'll try my best to reply to all of yours. Anyway, we come to the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for watching my video. But don't forget to watch it every day. I usually say that one video comes out per day. When you meet one, you find it difficult to understand a lot of grammatical items because everything is taught in order. You spend around 7 to 15 minutes watching my video per day you can understand a lot from my lessons okay thank you very much see you later bye bye